Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. We're in the world-famous Sipping Den. I am looking for a stir. Well, we'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, anyway, um, on this channel, I do everything that has anything to do with coffee. And I mean everything that has anything to do with coffee. And for you to find that, to know what I'm talking about, I ask one thing, and it's for you. You go in the playlist, my playlist, which I have broken down to categories, subcategories, and you'll start seeing the coffees. Coffee. Um, instant coffee. Flavored coffee. Ways to make coffee. I can't even remember all the... And everything I do, because I do everything as anything to do with alcohol, is also broken down like that. And since I usually only put out one coffee video a week on Sunday, that doesn't mean if you drink coffee every day, you can't drink along with me. Because you just have to go to that coffee playlist yeah. and pick you out something really nice and drink along maybe with the very thing you're drinking now. All right? Uh, and I do this with all the alcohol, too. It's very unique. The only one in the world that can do it. Now, today we are doing a coffee. We are doing... Um, so this company here, I've been doing several of their uh, Atlas, and this is their uh, Costa Rican. And it comes in a... There it is. Um... So I, this is a club, okay? And I, I'm not, I don't belong to it. A person I know at their work gets this. Someone sent it to their work and they get two bags, like a month of this type of coffee. And it's a small office and not everybody drinks coffee. So they're always giving me a bag, which I appreciate that. Uh, so I do not have anything to do with this. But doing the research on it, what you get when you order this is they source, you know, single source unique coffees from different regions from around the world package it kind of in a plain thing here with a uh, telling you wh where it comes from and they give you a card that explains the region the country that it comes from that gives you the tasting notes i don't have that because this isn't my um subscription but if you do order it it comes with i was reading it sounded pretty cool to get all that from around the world it's probably a good way to start uh, a coffee journey uh be that as it may um what I did find out about this one is it is grown at 1,400 meters, all right, in uh, Palmares in Peru. Uh, it is sun-dried, the process of it. And Peru has a lot of micro uh, climates because of the uh, Andean Andes in that region. Uh, and I wrote some stuff down, a variation in altitude, humidity, sun, and heat, all right. Um uh, their coffees develop unique flavors found nowhere else in the world. So let's see. Um, what I did was, uh, it's a fine grind, I noticed. It's not quite um, um, espresso, but it's fine. You got to, on this one, not powder, not espresso, but a little finer than I usually do for like my French press. Um, you can do a pour over, whatever. I to smell it. Hmm. And this is fresh because they grind it and send it right to you. And fresh coffee always has. But this one's interesting. This one, oh man. So coffee's in a, in a bubble of, of, of circle, right? Of Almost everything fits in there of all the coffees you drink. You know, little variations. If it's way outside, it could be delicious or it could be outside, it's terrible. This is in the wheel, um, but at least the smell. It has a unique smell, and you know my brain's trying to figure out what um what 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 that is. Uh, nothing's popping up, <laughs> and I've tasted a lot of stuff. Uh, it's pleasant, I will say it is pleasant. And yes, it's a traditional coffee smell, but that's not it. It's it's a little different. So very ple uh, pleasing. I'm going to say it's kind of fruity and chocolatey, and it just has a unique smell. Um, here it is. Let's smell it brewed. It's got the same smell. It's, it's um, interesting. Got a little sheen of oil on top, which is good. Oil's fat. I don't use a... Um, paper filters ever. If I do a pour over, it's a metal fine mesh. If I do a 
French press, of course, that's metal. Um, if I do a Keurig, I have my own. I pour the things in my own metal uh, because uh, paper filters will absorb some of the oil. Oil's fat, fat's flavor. You will lose a little flavor if you if you're doing that that way. But uh, you know, so I don't. All right. Medium to medium low acid. It's a nice aftertaste. It has um, after you swallow, you you taste after it's gone. You've swallowed it to now. I'm still tasting it. It's a nice chocolate. Um, very nice actually. It's delicate. It's um, hmm. it's gentle. These are weird terms. These might not mean anything to you, or you might be getting a hint of what I'm talking about. That's not a flavor. Delicate and gentle, I get it. It's not a... Um, the real flavor comes at the end. The real flavor comes after you swallow it, and you get that chocolate. Up front, you get a, a coffee taste, of course. Um, but it's not strong. It's a very... Mo if you've... Ne Struggle to drink coffee black with nothing in it. This would be a good one. It really would. It's got a nice coffee taste, but it's mild. It's understated. It's classy. It's not loud and obnoxious, which I like sometimes. Right? Sometimes I like it hit right in the face with what I'm trying. Right? Punch straight in the nose. But sometimes I don't. Right? Sometimes I like to dance, not fight. Yeah. That's how I'm going to leave it. That's how I'm going to leave it. I hope you can figure that out because, all right, I'm going to pour a little heavy cream because I love, loves me some heavy cream. Here it is. It's no joke. Don't have a stir. I always have one down here. I guess I cleaned up and put it away and didn't check. Usually I leave it out. because Either way, I don't have it. So I'll just do this. All right. It's good enough for government work. I don't see. Sometimes, cream can overpower stuff, and I don't like that. Because um, I don't want to overpower. I want to enhance or complement the flavor more revealing. And sometimes cream, I guess because it's fat, and fat just brings out flavor, will bring out flavor. I've saved many a coffee with cream. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, this coffee was good anyway. Uh, it really was, as I stated, uh, the profile. The cream actually intensified the coffee smell a little bit. More of a traditional coffee smell. And um, then it adds the cream. The cream always smells a little sweet, a little vanilla. So now it's all mixed in. smells delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. That strong aftertaste has been mellowed down now it's a it's a still chocolate coming but it's been tamed the acidity of course has been tamed by the cream mm -hmm. but the flavor up front's a tad stronger now it's like a milk chocolate all the way with a little bit of the dark chocolate at the end not a bad cup if you're in the mood for a coffee, definite coffee taste, everything's there, but a little more understated, not the powerful, too dark, too, too much coffee. I use this the same as everything else. So the flavor is always going to be consistent as far as how much coffee and water I use. So that, so that being said, doing them all the same amount of coffee and the same amount of water, this one is, um, is milder, frankly. Uh, but still tasty. Don't get the idea this is watered down in any way. You just have to search for the flavors a little bit. You don't think about it. You're just doing it. It's it's hard to describe this that way, I know. But uh, it's not real acidic. It's not real bitter. It's not real 
strong. It just doesn't have a lot of things going on. It just has a nice chocolatey, nice fruity smell to it. Um, not a lot of acid, not a lot of bitterness on the back. A little bit. It's more in the sense of a dark chocolate, uh, more of a, um, the rest of it's a milk chocolate. I'll tell you this. I'll put it to good use. <laughs> you don't worry about that. I will put this to good use. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Check out my playlist. First of all, subscribe, right? Do me a favor. Um, check out the playlist. Do yourself a favor by doing that. And you see some of the unique stuff I have. You'll get tangled up in it. You're going to love it. I'm telling you. It's like searching on a TV, but every damn movie looks good on my thing. All right? Think of it like that. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for being here.